small wind turbines have been all the craze as of lately. As they're said to be an incredibly cheap to run and efficient way for buildings and households to produce their own electricity. Many turbines have been developing much faster compared to other renewable energy sources. And at the forefront of this revolution is the fantastic Liam F1 wind turbine, which promises to completely mog on its non-turbine competitors. Let's take a look at the Liam F1 wind turbine and check out how does it dominate every other renewable home energy source. The Liam F1 turbine represents an all-new generation of wind turbines that are being specifically made by Archimedes, a Dutch company, for domestic use. These turbines will be setting a completely new trend in the wind turbine industry as they're considerably lighter, more compact, and are capable of producing far more energy than the current generation of many wind turbines. Their compactness makes them ideal for houses, buildings, and offices, and the fact that they generate virtually no noise makes them an even better choice for cities, as they'll significantly reduce noise pollution. Furthermore, their very low sub-100 kg weight makes them much easier to move around and install than the wind turbines that are currently being utilized by houses and buildings. Its design is also very advanced, as it's based on a rotor that captures the kinetic energy of wind to convert it into mechanical energy. Due to its form that resembles a screw, the Liam F1 automatically points to the optimum position of the wind, similarly to a pennant, which is how it acquires its peak performance. The fact that the Liam F1 is more advanced and better suited for regular use than previous generation of mini wind turbines is expected. However, it's also very potent and oftentimes better than much more common renewable home energy sources. So let's take a look at its most noticeable benefits over them. A considerably higher power output compared to solar panels. Solar panels have been the go-to option for renewable electric energy as they're compact, light and extremely easy to install. However, they're also very underpowered, on average achieves only 500 to 600 kilowatt hour of energy per year, which means that you'll need an entire array that fully covers your roof to achieve somewhat acceptable power levels, not to mention the fact that you'll also need a clear sky all throughout the year to achieve such results, which further hampers their versatility and usability. The Liam F1 is, rather frankly, much better than solar panels in terms of energy production, as an F1 turbine with a 1.5 meter diameter, it can achieve upwards of 1,500 kilowatt hour per year with a wind speed of only 5 meters per second, making it extremely potent compared to solar panels, not to mention the fact that if you live in a windy area, you'll be able to achieve even better energy numbers. Thanks to the very high power output in a small overall package, we could even scale down the Liam F1 into a much smaller package that could be used to power street lights, LED signs, and other stuff, which is something that smaller solar panels couldn't achieve. In fact, believe it or not, this is exactly what Archimedes did, as they recently also started offering the Liam F1 Mini Urban, which is literally half of the size and quarter of the weight of the regular F1. Furthermore, the only qualities that solar panels had over wind turbines was the fact that they were completely silent and far easier to install. However, with the release of the Liam F1, these advantages will be reduced or even scrapped altogether. Less situational and easier to roll out compared to hydroelectric systems. Hydroelectric systems have been gaining popularity in the last few years as they utilize the flow of water to generate electricity, and in fact, they're pretty efficient at doing so. Many large-scale hydroelectric power plants are powering entire cities and very usage-heavy infrastructures, and the smaller ones are also fantastic at powering singular households. However, rather unfortunately, to achieve hydroelectric energy, you'll need to be close to a downhill streaming water source, such as a river or a lake, which is a no-go for most households, and is most certainly not possible for any larger buildings, which is exactly where the Liam F1 comes in and outshines hydroelectric power plants, as they'll be installed on any flat surface and require no external factors to work, apart from, of course, wind. This means that they'll be far easier to install and roll out, making them a much more viable option compared to hydroelectric systems. 
and plus, they also have respectable levels of power. While they're still not as efficient as micro hydroelectric power plants, which can produce up to 5,000 kilowatt per hour, they're still more than enough for most uses, and their compact size, ease of maintaining, make them a better option in 99% of the cases. Much more versatile than air source and biomass heating systems. Air source heat pumps are one of the most popular renewable energy heating systems, as they work similarly to a fridge, only in reverse. It uses the heat from the outside air to provide hot water and heating for a household. They're very durable and are a very good source of heat during the even coldest of months, as they can extract heat from air at temperatures as low as minus 15 degrees Celsius. And while they're environmentally friendly and can save up to $1,500 per year compared to other more conventional and outdated heat sources, they're bound to be used as a heat source and nothing else. The same could be said for biomass heating systems, as they too are one-dimensional and also requires high levels of maintaining, as they need to be constantly fed with organic materials to produce heat. Compared to either one of these, the Liam F1 wind turbine is much more versatile as it can be utilized to perform multiple tasks and provide electricity for countless appliances throughout the household, while also being pretty comparable and in some cases even better when it comes down to saving money. Not to mention that the F1 turbines are much greener than biomass heating systems, which, albeit not as polluting as regular coal and oil burning systems, still emit a fairly substantial amount of CO2, much cheaper than regular grid electricity. It goes without saying that while the most convenient option, getting electricity from the grid is by far the least economical way of powering up your household, which is why most of us are seeking for a less expensive alternative, and the Liam F1 is exactly that, as a singular unit that costs somewhere around $5,000 can produce more than half the power consumption of an average European household, meaning that it'll fully pay for itself in less than a decade, oftentimes even faster as it's expected to save around $500 annually on average. Furthermore, if you've got the cash, you can opt for the larger model, which can generate up to 7,500 kilowatt per hour per year, meaning that most households will have electricity available free of charge, save for the initial price tag, which is expected to be in the 10 to 15 thousands. And since the Liam F1 is a relatively simple, fully mechanical assembly, you can expect the maintenance costs to be much lower than those of its competitors, making it even more sustainable and more viable than its direct opponents.